Okay. Okay, we got your food. Okay, we're not doing it with the food here, though. Oh, yeah, wait, we have to. Really? Of course. Look where we are. Hand left. Hand left. Okay. <laughs> Sean Acid, of course, is gonna. Oh yeah, look at the. Okay, girls, girls, come here for a sec. Everybody, come here. Come here, all the young things. Everyone. Where's my mark? Hey, girls, come on over here for a sec. Okay, picture time. Everybody squish girls, are you there? That kind of thing. Where are you from originally? I was born and raised in Los Angeles. Were you really? Mm hmm What part? Uh, born in Santa Monica, California, raised oh, in West LA, wow. near UCLA. Yeah, well, how, that's so cool. It was a Pac-10 city. It was a Pac-10. They do? Yeah. Oh, oh, don't, okay. Well, well, we'll get them later. We'll get them. Okay, girls, okay. out of there right now. Right, well, we'll be back. Are they like props? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea who they are. I'm like, we have props. Okay. Oh, hello. Are you ready? Four, three, two, one. Hi, Suzanne Orton here at the Ghost Tree Invitational. And with me is, of course, our very cool and famous Sean Asson. And Sean is, well, I personally loved Samwise, of course, in Lord of the Rings. Um, but I've been told he was also in Goonies. Which is something else, and of so course he's done a number my, uh, of other things. Oregon rite of passage. The Oregon rite of passage. A story. So a lot of rain. A lot of rain. A lot, a lot of, of ocean. Green. A lot I of green. on Thursday here to Bend. It was so brown, and I was like, what? I don't understand. So it's Central Oregon. And Central Oregon is very, very different than. Uh, so, so what do you think about Central Still Oregon? I mean, what's the, what is this thing? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite part? When I went into town, yeah. I had to do some work doing at um, FedEx office or something, and I, I walked into one of them, I went to the wrong one, and then the, the right one, and I walked into the one, and the guy looked at me and said, hey, how you doing? And then I walked into the next one, and I said, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and I was like, well, these people care about people, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good thing. So is that different than L.A.? You don't want to disparage anywhere, but it, was, no, it had no. its own quality of really good. Mess. I have to say, Central Oregon is known for its hyper. Have you been to Portland yet? Yeah, I love Portland. I've been in Portland a lot. Yeah. I've been in Bend before a couple of few times, but uh, I'm trying to remember how and where. But I've definitely been here. If it's not even just like I think we've driven a couple times up to Idaho from LA, yeah. like on the 97, and we pull Stop off and, and Bend, yeah, exactly. Kind of thing. Yeah, something like Very that. Very cool. Yeah. So let's talk about your golf game. Okay. Golf. Sean, how'd you do? Our team, our team or me? <laughs> well, you and then our team. Me. I did awesome. Our team shot 14 under. <laughs> okay, guys. In case I, 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 everybody to stop and think about this. 14 under. 14 under. I mean, yeah. hello, it doesn't get any better than that, you know. Well, 22 under won it, but whatever. <laughs> well, I guess it does get some better, but I missed no, that. No, we part had a of the great game. time. We had a great time. Yeah. I contributed a few shots. You know, as a celebrity, you want to. You know, you want to. You want to contribute this. a few shots. Yeah, you don't want to be an albatross around the neck of the team. I was certainly entertaining. That was my <laughs> my primary function. They played practical jokes on me, like I've never had practical jokes played. <laughs> These guys came up and the one, he opened up a little box and it had this elven bread wrapped in a leaf. <laughs> and then, like on the last putt, I I made like a um like an eight foot putt. And uh, and as, on the on the 18th hole, and as soon as it sank, they all started screaming, "Rudy!" and went and picked me up and carried me on, the, oh on their God. shoulders. It was really. All right, yeah. so so you Oregonians. Know, Oregonians, you. you know, they they have no fear. They have absolutely no fear. So we're here today um, at the Ghost to Invitational because of charities as well. Yeah. yeah. Also, food and wine, obviously. Sean, a bunch of charities. A bunch. A of bunch charities. of charities. Now so they we, should come in. You guys come in the picture. All right. Come on, everybody, come, come in here. the picture. Okay. Sean come wants on, the on. ghost tree treatment. You guys are volunteers? Yeah. Come on in. So here are the volunteers. Come here, sweetheart. We're going to go like this. Okay, Everybody squeeze here. down. <laughs> say, say your name. Say your name. All right. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, we're missing one. He's shy. Grayson, Harley, what's your name? Come here, guys. <laughs> now, here's the thing that we absolutely know to be true. You can have a lot of wealthy people who uh, put on an event, but it only comes off well if you've got great volunteers. And these absolutely. Kids are their absolutely. You want to say, uh, what should they say? Who are they saying a shout out to? So they're just going to say Ghost Tree Invitation. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. Where? Just Ghost Tree. Just Crook County, Ghost Street. High, School. Crook right, County Ghost. High School. Yeah. yeah. Central okay. Oregon. There it goes. That's the football team this year. Ready? Ghost Tree. One, two, three. Crook, Crook County, County High School. school. <laughs> yeah. There we go. One more time. One more time. All right. One more time. Crook right. County High School. Is that it? Yeah. 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 Sure. You sure? Yeah. Crook County. Oh. Crook County High School. I missed my complete deal. All right, guys, that's too much fun. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for your great work. Here, wait, 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 wait. We're going to have elbow and wine. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Keep eating and drinking. This is great. So having Sean here is a big deal for us. Um, we love the guy. He's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> He's going to make me wear my wine here in a second. Well, actually, that's your wine. Um, so let's talk about charities. Where Dizzy, you know what's going on out here, right? Yeah. It's, it's like this incredible food and wine tasting and... <laughs> You know, people socializing without any specific purpose. They're just saying hello to each other. Strange behavior. If somebody came down from another planet, they'd be like, an interesting species you've got here. <laughs> um, and the charities, it's always good. Okay, so let's talk about your passion. What is it? What is it? What do you What do you love to do? Where do you like to give? What's the coolest thing that you can think of? Where do you, you know, do you have a foundation? Well, How do you do these things? Well, but, tough, tough question to answer yeah. quickly. I mean... The philanthropic work that I've done, probably the most successful stuff I've done is for literacy. Yeah, uh, awesome. I was on the board for the National Center for Family Literacy. And That's fantastic. Trying, yeah, I mean, they, it, it, this country, there's 44 million people in this country that are functionally illiterate. At least there were six six years ago. I don't know what it's at now. But, um, but yeah, so getting families together and raising money and doing all this kind of good stuff. But my passion is this movie that I'm adapting from a world-class children's uh, novel called Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry. Really? So, yes, I'm my kid. So let's talk a little bit about that. So let's talk about the movie. Let's get... I mean, we got a great shout out for it, so let's uh, make sure you do this. Stars, any, anybody who's watching who has a middle school age child. Uh, 10 older, and 12. 10 and 12. Do you know yeah. Number of the Stars? Does that book sound uh, They probably do. I don't, but they probably do. I said to another lady, I said, do you yeah. know your kids' reading list? She yeah. Goes, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Well, I know, you know what your children are reading. Yeah. Well, Give me that. My son's reading Shakespeare, so it's kind of trippy, but That's keep going. Good. Shakespeare's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, well, keep going. So basically, <laughs> it is um, the story is two 10 year old girls. I was just saying that. Middle-aged school uh, aged children and older will likely have heard of it or be somewhat familiar with it, unless your child is only in the classics. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm a strange. It, it's uh, yeah. Lois Lowry wrote it. Lois Lowry is an acclaimed children's author. She's uh, won two Newbery uh, awards. One yep. for The Giver. And then The Giver, one. we know. You know The Giver. Know same the author. Giver very well. Same author. Only from 1990, this book yeah. came out. And uh, it's two 10-year-old girls. One is Lutheran and the other is Jewish, and they live in the same apartment building in Copenhagen in Denmark in 1943. Oh, Nazi occupied Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and when the Nazis start to go after the Jewish population, um, it's, a, it's a great, I mean, some people know it, a lot of people know it, but basically the Danish people were, said no, and they evacuated 95% of their pop, Jewish population to safety over in Sweden. Oh, God, that's was, fantastic. So, yeah, so, so it's a wonderful story. My wife and I optioned the rights. We, we um, you know, we wrote the adaptation together. We've been to Denmark a couple times with our kids. We've met all the couple. We've done everything you're supposed to do to yeah. do this. And well, that's they're great. one of my passion about, I'm really passionate about that. My kids are involved. Everybody, you know, it's, see, it's that's occupying fantastic. a lot of our life right now. So when, when, when do we see the movie? When is it, what's happening with the timing on this? Well, we're raising the money right now. Okay. And uh, it's, it's we're sort of picking up a little steam. Good. Um, the fantasy is to shoot it in November and to have it ready for release next you know, end of September to December, sometime after school starts. My favorite would be like third, fourth week of September, but you never know how these things go down. You never do. So how do people, yeah, how do people... Um, call your congressman. Exactly, call your congressman, but call also... Call your alderman, if you don't want an alderman, <laughs> you have something in common. Yeah. No, just, you know, you'll, you'll know. Number the stars. You well, is there is there a way, how do we, if you want to rate, I mean, if there's somebody, you know, people... To, I'm not to, allowed to, to do just, that, actually, because oh? it's a private offering, so I'm not it's allowed It's a private to, offering, actually, so sorry, yeah. guys, we can't quite go there yet, but... As we get closer, we'll try to figure out yeah, how to no, get it out. What people should do is they should read the book. Yeah. You, know, you can go into any Barnes & Noble. It's right in the kids' section, the Newbery Award winning right. books. You know, the Newbery Award is the National Association right. of Librarians. Right, absolutely. So, so what you do is uh, if you've got a middle-aged school kid or older, you know, just go get it.